Chris, you actually took your seed from the bike. Show me. Oh my... Why? What, so you don't want it to get stolen? Yeah, but people can ride the bike standing up. Yeah, but it did. You want to sit down there. Oh my god, you actually did it. Oh, that is... Next time when you come to class, take the wheel out and bring it here as well. Bring the frame and leave the seat, the wheels and the handlebars. <laughs> Okay, example. Let's write this. Okay, so let's do three examples. So everyone written the three examples or? Yeah, okay. You're crying, what happened? Probably get, my eye. Getting yeah. emotional. So this is basically simplified. We're gonna simplify all of this. Now, we're gonna have three x to the minus four, y minus five. That stays the same. But this, okay, cube root x. How else can I rewrite cube root x in terms of a power? Is it x to the power minus three? No. X to the power of five. Yes. So I'll write this on the side here. Look. What is square root x? x to the power half. Cube root x, it is x to the power 1 over 3. Remember, 4, like if this number is small, it becomes a power, right? A quarter. Okay, so that's 1. What if I have this though? How would I write that? x to the power 4. Very good. x. The, what? x to the power of 2. Oh, now you're guessing. The power of 1 over x. x to the power of 4. 4 over x. 4 times x to the power of x to the yes. power Yes, he just said the answer again. Huh? <laughs> There's a difference. If the power is small here, the number is small, it becomes a power. If the number is big at the front, it becomes times. So for example, if I have 3 root x like this, it's written as 3 x to the power half. 3 times x to the power half. Does that make sense? Yeah, you've got to make sure you're able to distinguish from the big number and the small number. So on this one, on the example, what would I write that as x to the power of what? Or is it 3 x to the power of third, isn't it? Now what do we do when we divide? What do we do to the powers? Minus. Minus. So I'm, now use your calculator. So put minus 4, minus 1 over third. If you can't do it, what does that give you? What's that? 3, 12, uh, 12, is it minus 13 over 3? Yeah. Yeah. So you should get minus 13 over 3. Now the reason why minus, remember, right? When we divide, minus 4, divide. Divide means minus. So minus 4, minus a third. So that's that. And then y minus 5. That's my answer. I can't do anything to the y because there's no other y's. You see, the only, the, the only thing I can simplify is the x's. There's nothing with the y's. I can't do anything. Okay, second example. Now, how do I write root x? How can I rewrite that? I can rewrite this x to the power half times y squared over 2x. So there's nothing I can do with the y. So the y squared is going to stay the same because there's no other y I can simplify. Now, x to the power half, so if you can't do this, just write it like this, x to the power half divided by 2x. What do I do? I have to subtract half by 1, because x to the power normally, if you don't write a number in front of x, it's just normally taken as x to the power 1. So what is half minus 1? Minus half. Minus half. Now, the thing that's different here is you have over 2. So make sure that over 2 is there. That's on the bottom. That still stays on the bottom. So you'll get x to the power minus half y squared over 2 as your answer. Now, the third example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as I'm going to write 5x. Root y can be written as what? y to the power of? Half. Over x to the power minus 4 y to the power of minus 3. Now, we've got y and x now, yeah? So we can divide each of them. So if I do 5x, so let's take it separately. Let's look at the x first. 5 is going to stay the same because there's no other number that you're going to divide it by except 1, so that's going to stay the same. And then, so what's 1? We have x to the 1 divided by x to the minus 4. So what, what am I going to do? If you can't visualize it, just write it like this. x to the 1 divided by x to the minus 4. So what is that? 1 minus minus 4, isn't it? Minus 3. Very good. Minus 3, yeah? Excellent. 5, x to the power of 5, minus minus, right? So you have x to the power of 5. What is y half divided by y minus 3? If you can't do it, write in your calculator. Half minus minus 3, what would that be? 3 over? <laughs> Are you right there, Mari? Brain damage. Five. Yeah, I know, you forgot your basic... Uh, yeah, so 2.5. Half plus 3. Half plus 3 is 3.5. Uh, yeah, but it's like this, that's what I'm asking. 7 over 2, yeah, that's your answer. Answer, so, no, you have, keep, you have to keep it as a fraction. Don't keep it. Don't write it as a mixed or a decimal. It looks ugly. Okay. 
and it's not nice when we do more harder stuff. Any questions? What would be the question for how Facebook Oh, no one's given you a paper yet. Anyone willing to give uh, Mr... W w what's that on your t-shirt saying? Fully paid. Fully paid? Yeah. Who are you fully paid by? Uh, <laughs> pocket money. I don't think that might... He might need more. <laughs> Okay, let's start with these five questions, yeah? Start with the X's first, then the Y's if you see the Y's. Just start it like that. Yeah, you're not sure, so you don't understand at all the example. Okay, so if we now do X4 divided by X minus 5, so what am I going to do to the power? Uh, 4 minus minus 5. Cool, what is 4 minus minus 5? Um, minus 5. Prepaid? What do you get? Uh, do okay, I'll come. Yeah. 4 minus minus 5 becomes 4 plus 5, isn't it? 9. And then y2 divided by y1, so what would that be? One. 2 yeah. minus 1. That's it, that's your answer. Already. Yeah. It's been like two Sorry. Oh. You finished? Let's see. You guys already on that. I'm on question 2. Yeah. Well, you keep turning around every single time, and you know, yeah, that's wasting time. Oh. What's the first one? What's oh, the I got it right, you know. It's four, four x to the power of nine, and then y. Okay, second one. And then I'm, I'm not, I'm not done that. Uh, what was the second one? Is here. X to the power of nine and y. Okay. Sorry, I put that as a uh, apologies. I haven't even finished. I have three x four and five. <laughs> okay, third one. Uh, y to the power of nine is two and three. Next, power of nine three. Fourth one. X to the power of seventeen over four y. Okay, you finished. Finished as well. Okay, so for six, how can you simplify the top one? How can you write two root x as two to the power two x to the power of what? Half. Half, isn't it? And then times it by five x to the minus four. Man, what are you doing? Thinking, thinking about what? Life. Question. What question? Five. five. Okay, where? Okay, that's fine. This bit is fine. Why two and one? What's two minus one? It's one, isn't it? So that'll be your answer. So right. Oh, absolutely. No, you didn't because you got that bit wrong. <laughs> same thing. It's not same thing. Okay, shh, shh, shh. What, what's happening? Where is it? I've got the answer correct. Okay, what do you want? A gold medal? <laughs> is it going to be easier than this in the exam? Uh, potentially. Is that yes or no? Potentially. That means maybe, Chris. Maybe. Okay, everyone got it? If you haven't, you can write this down so I can uh, move on. Move on. No, no, you make sure you write the questions. What? what? Yeah. I can't do it. You can't write. 